hopefully as good as I'm gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, the physical audio mixer would probably resolve this. Play like this. Well, is my voice is low, but is it audible? Like if I set it to this, how is that? Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll do that. I'll check the vods afterwards and see how, how wrong or right you are. Okay, I'll, I'll leave the settings as it is. And if something seems off, shout at me and I'll look at it later. You can't hear any background audio of the game through my one headset though, can you? And all the gun shooting sound is immensely loud. Not as loud as it is in Time Crisis 5, but... Oof. I don't even think I could stream that game because because you can't even hear the music. Like there is music in the game, you just can't fucking hear it because it's so fucking loud. Shoot. He's actually invincible until a certain point, so shooting at him does nothing. Just burns your own accuracy reading down. What the? What was I colliding with? I burned a lot of ammo there. Because it kept colliding with something that didn't exist. Player one dead. Wait for the chandelier. High scoring might actually be better to not use grenade launcher there just so you can get more perfect headshots and the uh, zombies. Which would be interesting. Hey, did you see my brother? The true battle will happen in the future. True battle. Shoot! So he's gonna push it. Okay, is a particular timing you do that? Okay, I need to learn the timing for that. It's always that guy in the right who catches me with... And 
all of these zombies are invincible except for the ones climbing independently. It's kind of hard to actually like see them. of life in there. What? I actually really like the chariot redesign for this game. I suppose chariot was probably my favourite boss in the first game. Well, except for Magician. I feel that the chariot fight in this game is a little bit weird. Oh, no. I had that one. Look at the face. Oh, well. Screens are it's a perfect time to start using special weapons since there's like a chainsaw guy and two axe men, and the axe guys always defend their face. Which means you can't just shoot them. <laughs> but theoretically, your score will be lower for doing that because you can't get perfect shots in their head. Interesting payoff. The special weapon system in this game really is interesting. Chat widgets broke again? On my end, it, um, it doesn't look to be. Good choice. It must be behind a bit then. Um, oh, who's the boss of Annex? Annex, Annex, Annex. Um, Incendiary gun, energy cannon. Okay, so the, the chat widget being completely shit on OBS is annoying, or there's just a way to do it and aware of. It got stuck in a... Hmm. That's really annoying, actually. I need to I gotta poke someone I know, see how they did theirs to see if theirs works better. There's something going on just ahead. You say it's by time, but it says on my screen that it's this is up to date, so of course it might the delay. Because there is gonna be a delay in a couple seconds of when you post something, it will appear on the screen because of the actual um, delay in your Twitch. I wonder if that's it. Oh, you can't even shoot them in the chest because their arms kind of spin block. Oh, that's a nut. That's wank. Let's be 
careful. Let's not provoke them. Do if you can shoot that guy to grip. Feel experience right here. And they should have just took a projector shotgun. All he needed. Probably not a choice, actually. Got there. I got something. Guys in this game are mad. There, that door. You need this. Oh, this game is really, really good in comparison to. Like, I think this might be the best House of the Dead, ge dead game in the last, I don't know, how many years? Because, like, I, I visually think that. It might be the most technically advanced, but I, I do like the low poly aesthetic of the this first two. We need to report this soon. 
What happened? I mean, hey, if, if, if the enemies are allowed laser guns, why can't I have a laser gun? I didn't get that fast enough. I was never good at hitting those like weird weaving arm animations. Oh uh, yeah, this one's like the one in the tunnels from both three and four. Like this, this type of boss design is turns up a lot in these games. Gives you a long time, but the energy kind of just becomes a really, really chumpless boss. Like, look at that. But yeah, the chariot boss in the tunnels in four is similar to this, and then there's um, there's a weird cop cool. guy in three yeah. who Taurus Source chases you the same way. This dialogue still on point. Something will be released worldwide. Humankind? Gonna do the humankind as a response to the, you know, they're gonna wipe out everyone, but they're gonna re release people into the atmosphere. That's what's gonna happen. Two stages and I do six credits already. Fuck me. I like Olivia a lot. I really like this level. Incendiary gun. And machine gun. Voice acting's too good for you, I ten. I think the voice acting in the House of the Remake is like, it's intentionally bad, but it isn't good bad. It's just stilted bad, which is a, a weird criticism is the voice acting isn't bad enough. Yeah, it, it is a bit. Yeah, to find a place to contact like, the, the outside. main villain's plan is exactly the same as Albert Wesker's plan five: yeah, is to nuke the world, stairs. and the people who survive are going to evolve into a better species. That's literally the plot of both this game and Resident Evil Five, and several other Resident Evils as well. Here come the Russian guests again. 
Fire in the building, they're fucking using the elevator. in that room I missed. It's a lot to remember. Then pile up a bit. Go to the next one, then pile up. Again. This stage is really, really cool. I guess it does really have a, uh, a thing for this eastern castle aesthetic. Then again, though, I also really like the boss. Like, the having Hanged Man and Chariot in the game again just feels like, you know, House of the Dead Nostalgia 101. Oh, these fucking ninja guys are really annoying. Guys are really annoying to actually get. There's nothing useful here. End of Homo sapiens, next evolution hmm. of life, the thing to stop it, an envoy from the moon. Is that code or a delusional message? Noah's Does it not update unless I alt tab project has been realized? Out. And then the chrome popped out window will odd will then update. Let's try. That couldn't Shoot. be it. No, that very much could be it. Gotcha, so it's... I, I see how it works then. What? The guy who appears here is on the left? I remember losing a life here. Not the him. There goes another guy. Is it one of those I also like to? I also like the guy in the fucking well last time though. Where he just kind of. Yeah, that guy. Fuck him. That guy was pre shooting down the well and he still got me.
Gatling gun is abysmally bad. It just doesn't have enough ammo. Who hit me? Oh, again, the very, very right, so it was slightly off screen. Second helicopter in this game destroyed. Helicopters do not survive these games. Does any horror franchise even related things like helicopter? Not nah, dead. Flame gun does splash damage, it's not good against its boss. Which is why I took the machine gun EX, because that might be good at like doing a lot of damage to him whenever it passed the back for years. Yeah, you can't hurt anyone with the bats once he starts laughing. Still by far the coolest boss in this game, though, was this iteration of the Hangman. It's just really cool. Then for the fee is into me, yep. Chug and the rendering. Player one dead. Player one dead. And this be a little bit harder to play. Is that what Robert Patterson's deal was? That if this Batman does badly, he'll turn the light gun game rules instead of uh, art horse porn? I need to double check what the Patterson Batman was like, because I think Patterson's just really fun and mental. Mostly mental. Oh, 
man, he's just expecting a beat in that middle. Is there a lot of background bad guys that didn't kill? Or maybe using the environmental kills doesn't count as killing the bad guy. If that's the case, that's kind of... What level is this? Um... I think the shotgun might be good for these guys with the axes in front of them, because if that pierces their defense, that's just worth taking the shotgun for them every time. Because technically we're past the hard part of the game now. Because the last boss of this level is kind of a joke, and then the boss of the final level is even more of a joke. Goldman took evolution to be biological adaptability, but I consider it to be truly about the human mind. Arrogance, greed, envy, rage, lust, veracity, laziness. All great expressions. We need to get rid of the dead. It's time to carry out Noah's Ark. And be crazy. What's in there? How's the dead villain? They're all crazy. Like we're researching something. Let's move ahead. Wait. Searching, obviously, some form of rock fusion because uh, there's a lot of rockers down here. brought in the, the guitarist as an enemy first. But I've definitely seen him in another place of the day again. I lose a life for shooting my own teammate that would uh, take away lives like hell in this game sometimes. I 
shoot. I was worried we'd take on water. I'm going to be sick. I fucking hate these ninja guys. They're so fucking annoying to deal with. The guitars are on this level, though, like in the servers. Hey there. Oh, this, let, me, let me look this spot one second. This must be Dr. Curie and Goldman and... No wonder you don't know him. That's Thornheart. He had the disease at that time. Why these three guys? In 1880... Uh, no, this isn't Technopart. This is, um... Made was the beginning you don't actually need Technopart to run this? What? But I think there is people who do run it that way. Like this is just using the JCon fake. Like it, it runs really, really well. I wasn't expecting it to run this well whenever I got a, a dump of the machine. You can't even really damage this boss. I think you can shoot him in the eyes and it'll just maybe get some extra points. But I'm curious as to how this game works, where shooting at him and not doing damage counts as missing for the purposes of score, so I'm kind of curious. I can't, I'm probably going to have to test that sometime. It gives you a lot of time to work with this. As far as the House of the Dead remake goes, I think the game's fine. I think it's very, very fun. But I think the controls are honestly the sticking point for a lot of people. The gyro controls don't really cut it, and they they sort of veer to one side over time, so you have to always reset them over and over. Um, I think a lot of people would just be even happy if the game had touchscreen support for the Switch. Like, I definitely prefer the original, but I do think there is a lot of fun to the remake, and there is a lot of good quality of life stuff in there, like level selections and more difficulty options and more game modes. And, uh, like, if, if they ever tr fix the aiming of a patch or something for the House of the Dead remake, I could see myself playing it a lot. Nice. 
It is weird though that the magician boss fight is a lot easier, I guess. Because of the way the camera follows him, you can sort of keep your cursor just on the same weak point. And he'll teleport back into the same like weak point over and over, so you don't even have to eat him too differently. I need to actually try World Ends a few. I need to play the DS one first and see how it is. I guess I saw people mentioning that the Switch version of it was a little bit weird, but I'm not really too sure how since I stayed away from spoilers. But somebody started something, and his project has begun. Mm, the touchscreen stuff would make sense, yeah. Um, let's see. Incendiary gun. gun's handy, and if I want... If I... Well, I won't deal with the... I think incendiary gun's probably the best we weapon I can find in the game. I think the rocket launcher might be just as good, but I need to experiment with it more. I know that I like the incendiary gun, though, because its splash damage is really good. But I think the rocket launcher is less ammo. Ugh, iPhone? I, I wouldn't think I'd really play anything on an iPhone. Like, I have to use Mac devices for work, you and uh, I'm not a fan of Mac. Just from that alone. Just let them die. Finally, the new human evolution has begun. I feel a chill. This is it. I can feel it. Will there specific key of bullet hills that only came out an iPhone? If so, it's suffering to be a cave fan. This level runs a little bit weirdly because of the fog. So if you see any drops in frame rate ever so slightly, that's not just the stream that is. That's also myself. Just getting that. This guy's a lot of health. Maybe the rocket launcher is better because I would have caught the other guy with it as well. Why? Oh, I missed him. I need to learn the pattern, some of these enemies look better. Like, I've not played a lot of fights of the day, but I plan to really get into it more. Okay, he's going behind that one. I used to play a lot of Heights of the Dead 3 back in the day, since I had the PlayStation Move version. And, uh, god, the final boss of that still gives me connections just thinking about it. Dead. 
Oh, damn. I like the credits. Laser. Oh, the biggest fan of the laser so I can't want to just shoot as many bullets out as possible. He's definitely fucking head glitching. Empty. I'm going for scoring and always want to survive. Fleeing guys are like the ones in the final stage have a lot of health. Like the ones earlier in the game, you only really need to catch with a couple bullets and they're dead. But on this stage, you have to really, really hammer bullets into them. Like I think a shotgun might be a good weapon for this final stage, just to deal fleeing. Ooh, I was just re I was just reading what you said about the. Uh, the key of releases there, Zab, and that's actually really depressing to hear. You're Thornheart. You're still alive. Hundred percent accuracy. Come fuck yourself. No one's getting hundred percent accuracy in this game. Holy fuck. But I was reborn from a fatal disease. I choose to be alive. You use selective words. What are you planning? Can't you see it? The future looks plural, but in truth, there is just one. I can see it with my eye. What? It is the time. The time for new life to be born in a new evolution. Come on, this way. Shoot! What is it? I don't really care what score, let's see if I can actually damage his boss again in the eyes. Okay, you can actually get his health bar, which should give score for hitting him. It's only his third eye which seems to do damage. Even outside of that, he is, it seems to be the only weak point that does uh, anything that does health bar. But this, this boss is kind of a joke. Like, I'm probably gonna lose lives to it. And I got something like a little bell end for, for, but, uh, like, the boss doesn't really do anything. Nice, 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 nice. I can't believe I did kill, kill someone's skull. We're back in 2003 and someone's skull is too powerful. Oh. He also looks like Lord Zed. I was joking about last time as well. And honestly, yeah. He does kind of look like Lord Zed.
that left right shooting is really annoying. Like those projectiles are a lot easier than the side by side tornado. I don't really think we're missing any of the Arcana. Because they, they reuse a couple of names. Because I know they use the, f the full was the sloth boss and free. But I don't see the full Arcana being used a lot. Chariot is you know, a staple. Hangman is also a staple and shows up a bunch. What other Arcanas are there that haven't showed up? It's easy to think of the ones that have, but the ones that haven't. Like, I think they've all been used at this point. I think the Moon was one of the ones that wasn't used. Got that one. Is there nothing that can stop it? I'll make him eat this. Ryan! Eat this, Freak! Ryan! Well, I got it under 10 credits, which is uh, a lot better than what I was expecting. Because last time it took me about 15 credits at least to beat. Checkmate. So getting Checkmate. under 10 this time is a James definite said, improvement. Don't lose your hope. Doubt James helped you because of your bravery. I don't. I don't have enough balls to attempt a metal slug game one CC. Like I, th I think the first one is mostly fair enough. You could attempt it, but damn, the rest of the games are mad hard. I think Metal Slug Three is the only one I've actually. <laughs> Finished though, I, I, I got pretty far in the first and I ran out of credits. But the third, um, it's old Xbox Live release I played and it's fun, but boy, is it fucking unfair as hell. It's impossible to change a predefined future. Wow, 58% 50, accuracy is considered to be uh, highest grade, so the game assumes you'll be missing a lot of your bullets. Good, because this is it. 4 didn't consider that to be good. A, we're the Baba. Yeah, I know, right? It's like, hey, it's got to be more House of the Dead. It's like, uh-huh. They didn't kill their villain in one game this time. Look, like, Kyrian dies in the first game, but then he shows flashbacks for free, because it's like, well, Goldman's dead. And then Goldman shows him flashbacks in four, it's like, oh, okay. You keep killing these villains and then having to introduce them in weird ways. <laughs> 